All right, it is that toe that you know ready to go with his show. Let's see what we got. More regions to discover here. More shit to claim. A little more rash vine. Just be careful where you rub it. Elves were guilty of the greatest sin of turning from the Maker, but we will show them mercy, for that is what Andrasti teaches. Oh, how the f what the fuck happened over there? What are you guys even thinking? Balanced sniper bow. Ooh, fade touch cotton. And a letter. The new client wants double the red lyrium shipped last time. Samson. Ah. Another letter on the smugglers, referring to Samson. Quite interesting, yes. <laughs> I think she fell, yeah? <laughs> I think she did. Everybody roll perception check. But, uh, I'll have to say, living with Cenevera here was an absolutely interesting experience. It's, uh, even a little more interesting, I guess, at least in my opinion, as to, I mean, the whole story of it, considering that we, like, first met during a live stream that I was doing. And I don't even remember, I think I was playing like the longest journey, something like that. Um, in fact, I'm almost positive that was it. I'm not sure if that was the first game I streamed, but it was it was definitely a main one. And uh, oh, now we got some cool music going. And, uh, you know, her in the chat and everything like that. We chatted, we talked, you know, and, and everything. And then, God, five years later, it's it's led to here. <laughs> her living with me for a few months. It was an exciting time. It's like the ultimate Togoth fan. <laughs> but it's just, it's so funny to think of how much my life has changed because of Let's Playing. You know, it started off just as Stress relief. Well, anti-boredom, really. Because I worked a night shift job, and so that's where my, my Let's Playing really started, was I, I played at work. I was basically, at that point, I was I was kind of out of, fresh out of college, and I was uh, I was really an over-glorified security guard for a data center. Um, yeah, I did, like, server reboots, and I monitored stuff. Um, you know, I, I guess not security guard in terms of how the fuck do I get over there? I guess not security guard in the term of, like, making sure no one broke in. Although that, that, you know, was kind of an important element of it. But more or less security guard in making sure that, like, servers didn't crash and shit didn't break down. Um, you know, every once in a while I would have to uh, rack and stack. Which is, in essence, uh, just putting servers into a rack. Uh, anyone who's worked in IT or data centers. Uh, most servers that you'll see are, are in big, like, storage racks. Uh, generally, they're about six feet tall or so, some seven. It, it depends on what, you, what you've got. And uh, the servers just sit in there, and so you'll, you know, you'll put, I don't know, uh, most servers can go anywhere from a U. Uh, U is kind of just like a, a simple, basic measurement. It's, it's not a real unit of measurement. It's kind of based on the rack itself. But the racks have, like, places where you can put screws and crap like that, or where you would install the rails for the server. And so, 
you know, you know, a one U server, two U, four U. Uh, I've dealt with eight U's, um, which are big, heavy motherfuckers. That uh, a, a U is roughly an inch, though, R roughly. Um, and said it's not really a technical thing, and uh, that was that was be my job is night shift, six p.m. to six a.m. doing that. And so when I didn't have anything to do, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> So I let's played, and uh, it worked great. Hello, Crystal Grace. Beta's travel journal. So uh, a few people have asked my opinion more and more on this, and I'll probably do an actual full video on it. But uh, I I like this game, and I I I think they could have still done things better. Um, what I, I really feel like this game lacks is that they throw out a ton of side quests for content, which I, I don't want. I mean, you can kind of already see I've, I've lost interest in the side quests, and I'm more or less doing them just to be completionist. Uh, but I think if they were less side quests that were longer and more drawn out and more written out, that I would find a lot more fun. I would really get into these long, drawn-out, you know, six, seven-part quests. Not just, you know, place the candle on the altar type of thing. That that, that does, doesn't feel like you did anything. It feels MMO-ish to me. Um, I guess we're at... Oh, yeah, I, I know that. I, I don't know why that popped there must up. Be something here. And I don't know why my game has decided that it wants to go at a snail's pace. This is like the longest one of these I've seen. Okay. <laughs> um, so I, I just don't like that feeling to it. I, I guess uh, as a comparison point, and I, I bring it up as one of my favorite games of all time, is the Baldur's Gate series, that I really can't think of any, like, just go out and collect the, the X, you know, or, or kill the X. It generally had, like, an actual plot and story written to it. And uh, because of that... Alright, we, we're, we're doing this? We're doing two of these things? I mean, if that... I actually don't think that'll help. <laughs> There's not much you can do in that. Oh god! Out. Alright, all right, maybe I have to channel that firestorm. All right. Double giants really fucking hurts. And apparently they don't give two shits about bees. My bees like fucking disappeared. Yeah, no, Double Giants was not a smart idea.
Oh god! Does this even hurt them? It does. Not a ton. Run the fuck away. All right, yeah. I, I'm not sure my odds here, but Solus is, oh god, they just jumped so fucking. Fucking jumpy bastards. Yeah, two giants is just way too many. There's just no way to. Josephine is ready to report. I think what I want to do is plant that flag and run the fuck away. Unless there's one giant. One giant I can do. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away! Ah! Oh. out. Oh good, he's down. Captain! That's going plenty fine. What are you, why are you guys fighting that guy? Why you gotta pick fights with the local wildlife? died with guard. God, you want some too? Kill your ass too. Claim. It was a great lord of Elven Halam Shuralala. Claim this one over here too. Jesus Christ. Oh, is this a... No, I was hoping it was a quarry. Yeah, there's no way I'm taking on a rift at my current hit points and everything. Uh, we have to go back. We have to go back. Oh, man. Let's go check this before the dawn. Inquisitor, 
Yes. Yeah, I think that's that's what this game could use more of. I know I've made that complaint before. It's just it's kind of it's continued to be relevant that uh the short kind of nonsense quests just don't do anything I feel to impact the story. But more long drawn out oh shit. Fucking skull thing here? How did how did this not get picked up earlier? Oh, now we gotta find skull shards. Motherfuck. Six of these things. I'm make myself dizzy. Go after my shards. I do want to get them. I still really need to collect them. Um, I'd love to see what that that one area has. And in fact, I, I think I'm opening up Spirit first, just because I didn't know any better. The fire one is no the one I, I really. Hear. The only thing scaring nobles more than the baddies is being asked to help us. Typical, right? Wet and running the first sign of trouble. <laughs> I knew a duke who actually had a servant follow him to war with corks in case his bowels loosened. Called him his retainer. <laughs> that laugh. That's the type of laugh that it's okay to hear once, but I think if you had to live with that laugh, you might gouge out your ears. I've noticed the same thing happens with the word quirky. It's one of those things that's cute in very short dosages. And it, in short dosages, it's called quirky. In long dosages, it's called annoying as all fuck. But. Really? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, yes! Haha! <laughs> I think this should be the only cluster of shards we'll need to find. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, Persian's laugh is very important. You can understand mine might be annoying to some, but it's one of those things with people like if someone's got an annoying laugh. It, it feels like such a uh, such a rough deal that you know you want to make a person laugh because well at least I do I, I enjoy making people laugh I enjoy making jokes and things like that but like if making a person laugh drives you insane ah. Uh, It's very Nazgul sounding. I don't even want to pick a fight with him. I just want to get my shards and get out of here. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to wrap it up soon for playing. I'm just about out of hard drive space. Which, uh, you know, what can you do? Hey! Like a whole extra thing here I didn't even explore before. I'll take it! Andrasi's path was difficult, as was ours, but we did not falter as she did not, and will be rewarded just as she is. I'll take you. Widow's Woe. Scatter Robert's ashes. Oh, God. Frickin' Robert. I always found that so funny as a guy to like 
see a girl who you thought was hot. Shit. And, like, until she spoke. And then it was like, ow. Oh. 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 Alright, we're going to get the one last shard there and cut our video. Actually, the easiest way to do that is just teleport right here. That's the shard, right? Yeah. We'll grab that and we'll cut the video. Because, as I said, I'm about out of hard drive space. So I'll have to take care of all of this tonight. Get to processing. Nothing to report, sir. And, uh, push on. So, as always, folks, thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.